Hello, fellow Build Grow Crafters. Today we're talking prepping for spray, supplies, general purpose sanding blocks from Home Depot, caulking that you can paint, along with that, a caulking gun, wood plastic, we use this to patch some trim, blue painter's tape, contractor's tape, drop cloths, this is from the Dollar Tree, this is from Sherwin Williams paper to cover your floors. This is kills to cover any funky spots. Radial sanding discs along with the tool that goes with it. And this was to sand the walls where we had to do some patches. You'll want to take out your outlet and switch covers along with all your door hardware. Shop vacuum for cleanup. Also a drop cloth if you need it. This is the mask that we used with spraying. This is the spray that we used. It is airless. We bought it at Home Depot. Easiest thing first, cover up all your switches, all your outlets, take off all the door hardware. Use a rag and warm water to wipe down any of the grubby places. To cover pen, we use the kills. Cover your floor from edge to edge. Use paintable caulking to cover any cracks and gaps. If you made any patches, now's the time to sand and vacuum. Prepping is definitely time consuming, especially when you have a lot of little windows, but it's worth it in the end when you're getting nice, clean, crisp blinds. You're not getting overspray all over your things on your floor. This is how we set up our doors. We covered our lighting. Down the hallway, each room had to be individually closed off simply with contractor or painter's tape and then plastic over each door around each frame and the flooring here was covered up also with the brown paper prepping is definitely an all-day project anything that might get overspray has to be covered but the clean crisp lines at the end are definitely worth it so don't skip the extra prep 